have loathed my law while they have yet liberty. They didn't have loathed the Lord's law while you had let your liberty, when you had grace, when the doors of repentance was yet open. Go ahead. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, yeah. understood Spirit. not. Understood but, not, but did what? But despised but it. But despised it. Every nigga that came up despised it, man. Not one person a day came up and sincerely uh, uh unto the word, man. Go ahead. The same must know it after death by pain. Shall know it after death by pain, man. <laughs> Go ahead. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when, yep. but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. And, and, and that's what it is, man. We inquiring how the righteous shall be saved. We don't give a fuck what happened to you niggas, man. Like I said earlier, when you niggas get shot down, we praise y'all by some y'all are shot, man. We go out and get a drink, shit. Good for that nigga. One less nigga holding us back, man. Because the Bible says if we all turn to the Lord and would consent and prayed unto him and repented, he'll come save us immediately. Yeah, that's what but yet you niggas won't turn back, man. That's why two-thirds of you niggas must die. The faster the Lord put you niggas to death, the faster we'll be in the kingdom, man. Right. Fuck you niggas, man. Go ahead. So, who the world is and from whom the world is created. That's it, bro. The world was made for the righteous, man. That scripture just proved it. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 29. For that they hated knowledge. They hated knowledge, right? So as they said, they, 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 they despised it. They loathed the Lord's law, right? Go ahead. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. Go ahead. They would none of my counsel. Because the scripture says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. What is wisdom? The beginning of cleaving on to the Lord. Go ahead. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. You despise all the Lord's correction, man. How's the Lord correcting you through his men? We are here telling you how to get right, how you're supposed to walk in order to please the Lord. But you niggas despise it. You niggas want to walk in your own hearts after the lust of your own mind. So it says what? That they shall do what? Therefore, that shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. And that's plain, man. You reap what you sow. Go ahead, brother. And be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Read that again. For the turning away of the simple hey, the, shall the turning away of the simple that just happened. Yep. Go ahead. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. Yeah, shall so slay them. So that nigga gonna die, man. Hey, you turn, you turn away your, your back to the Lord, man, to the word of the Lord coming out, man. So now that's an automatic death sentence to, to a lot of you, man. You know, some people, hey, hey, the, the, the seed, the seed, you know, the seed hitting, hitting to good ground. But the, the majority you come up here, you go walking off, man, it's to your own destruction, man. Because the Lord don't need no niggas anyway, man. That's right. Say in Proverbs, he that turns an ear from the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a lot of abominable oh, niggas yeah. out here. Right. Yeah, right. Go ahead, brother. It says, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Yep. Whoso hearkeneth unto the Lord shall dwell safely, man. That's taking heed to the law of special commandment. That's taking heed to what he's the correction. The scripture says, how can a man cleanse his way? By taking hold to the word. By doing as the Lord said. The Lord said, Yahweh Shai said, why call it me, Lord, Lord, but you do that as I say, man. Go ahead, brother. You still holding that Ezekiel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I mean, or any scriptures you brothers got, the precepts, you know. Ezekiel 3, uh, you start a 1 or, or what? Uh, no, starting at, uh, what's that, 16, 17? Uh, Let's see. Son of man, I have set thee a watchman. Yeah, 17. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man. <laughs> Yes, 
another man. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Cannot stand, man. Yeah, See, right. if you devils were smart, you got them Germans, Russians, you fucking Englanders, whatever the fuck you call yourselves, you fucking Edomite Americans, y'all would all get together, man. Right. But yet, y'all divided amongst yourselves. Buying for power. No, I want the power. No, I want the power. No, we ain't getting the power through the spirit of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. This kingdom is Yahweh Shah's kingdom, man. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. All right. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yep, unto the house of Israel. Right? We just read in Habakkuk, he said, I should stand upon my uh, my watch, standing on the tower, and I will see what he will say unto me. So, so we get in the words at the Lord's mouth, which is this book, which is Yahweh Shai, which is who, who, who are supping with us. And we coming out telling you the words, man. Paul said, I, I, I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Heavenly Father, man. So we telling you people everything, man. Go ahead, God. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give the warning from me. Right, so this is warning from Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah, man. This ain't a warning from men. This ain't a warning from us. These ain't our words. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Which is what we say unto you niggas. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That if you continue in your ways, you gon' fucking die, man. That's why the message is repent or die. It ain't vote or die. Fuck voting, man. That's against the law anyway. The scripture says that you shouldn't set somebody that's not of your nation up, man. So the message is repent or die, man. Go ahead, brother. Thou said, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him no warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. Right, so if we ain't out here telling you people, what's gonna happen, brother? And said to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Right, so you still gonna fucking die, but what's gonna happen? But his blood will I require at thine hands. Right, so your blood gonna be on our hands, man, if we ain't out here warning you people. Go ahead. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way. So if we warn you, but you continue to do the bullshit you've been doing, go ahead. He shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. See? So we trying to deliver our own souls, man. James, the last chapter says, he that converts the sinner from his ways shall cover a multitude of sins, man. So we're out here doing what we were told to do. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it said, again, when a righteous man do a turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Right. So all you niggas that used to be in the truth, that fell out, man, and hey, the Lord kicks you niggas out, man. The scripture says the deceive and deceive our mind, man. Right. So the Lord put that, hey, that flat earth shit, the Lord put that stumbling block on you niggas, man. Right. Because you niggas wasn't right. You, hey, you niggas wasn't meat for repentance, as it says in John, man. Right. 